Hey YouTube. So I've never talked about Venom Fang X before because really what's the point? He's pretty much the most famous Christian on YouTube because he's basically a talking punching bag for every YouTube atheist who wants to get in some licks. But today I saw his most recent video and it's just too ridiculous not to mention. Um, first of all, he has this amazing new intro and I am totally jealous. <laughs> Second of all, he's in his bathrobe. It's four in the morning and I just decided to get out of bed, throw on my bathrobe, and tell you guys about what I've been thinking about. And third of all, what? It's a good look. Third of all, this is his argument. Of course, there's a serious problem with two of his premises. The only two premises, in fact. For the first, we have no way of telling if this is true, because we don't know conclusively of any world where a god exists, so we can't actually state this. For the second premise, we have very good evidence to suggest an absence of any intercessory god in the one world we do know, and we see that belief still exists in this world, and that's pretty good evidence to suggest that his second premise is also wrong, and therefore we can completely dismiss his conclusion. This is basically a new, dumber version of the fallacy argument from popularity. It's used to support things like homeopathy or acupuncture by saying if X number of people have been doing Y for Z number of years, then surely there must be something to it. Argument from authority doesn't work, simply because you can't just vote for the facts. For instance, if I tell you that I'm going to give you a shoebox full of something and you have to guess what's in the shoebox, it doesn't matter if all of YouTube votes that it's $10,000 in small unmarked bills. It will still in fact contain oh, a small wombat named Mr. Nomington. And no, you can't actually have him. The point is that belief in something can exist despite a lack of that thing actually existing. Because as humans we have desires, creativity, and a need to explain the unknown. God tends to be a handy concept because it explains things that we can't otherwise explain. And as we find more and more actual explanations for those things through science, God gets smaller and smaller and smaller. In fact, it's to the point where you could pretty much fit that God into a shoebox. But believing he's there won't actually make him exist. <laughs> 